Welcome to part three. We're talking about WordPad. And for most people, WordPad will probably deliver everything you want in a word processor and be able to take notes or make some simple documents that uh, will be meaningful for you. This program does not take up a lot of memory and that means it'll run very easily on your computer. Now, there are other programs that has much stronger uh, resources for what is called bells and whistles. For example, to have a spelling corrector and also a, uh, uh, a, a thesaurus to be able to sort out some other words instead of creating a document that is uh, with many repeated words. So those are in other programs such as uh, OpenOffice provides and also with Microsoft Office provides. So that is options to look forward to. Now looking at uh, this program, WordPad, we will realize that there is some special things that go on within it that is more than just the basic purpose of what you expect. Since WordPad is so basic, I took special notice to the uh, uh, the uh, menu bar for in, uh, insert and voila I found a couple surprises and that was the first item and there is the time and date uh, date and time that I can insert into my document just by a single click there but uh, also take notice that there is another option to insert uh, an object now as I selected that object I was surprised to see what came up. What came up was uh, the ability to create a chart. Now a chart is a graphic that uh, will enable to give people a picture of something that you are comparing different items to. Uh, for example, uh, uh, let's say we're looking at the attendance of our classes. One day we'll have one number, another one will sh show another number, but over a consistent period of time it'll show either a growth or staggering or whatever the case may be. Uh, so charts give us a visual understanding of what's trying to be presented. As I selected the uh, graph chart, I was taken into an, uh, the ability to make that selection and as I do I press uh, OK button and be able to come up with the following result. Take notice that uh, this program will obey the rules of the development of a chart. We have a table on display here where it is set up with three different uh, lines which is uh, uh, identifying three different records and across the top we have a uh, selection of uh, uh, fields. Now this is a, a chart that can be added or subtracting the number of uh, lines or columns as desired. It can be customized to whatever you want. After that it will make a, a positive a reference to the chart that is displayed in your document. Now you also realize that this is not fixed. It can be adjusted anytime you want. And if your uh, uh, display is a little bit different than what was intended, you can make the necessary adjustments as needed. After making all the changes on your table there, you'll be able to see the uh, result in the window that is being displayed. And clicking outside of it, it'll deselect it. And be able to see the uh, uh, table disappear and all you got is the chart. I find this is a very useful thing to be able to create and guess what? It can be copied into other programs. So it is a very useful little tool. Now I'd like to go back and look at the list of other things that are listed on uh, uh, the selection there and make note of that before we uh, complete our, our, our study in this area. Looking back we can see this uh, uh, insert object list here and we have uh, uh, the ability to bring in a PDF document or 
take a look at the second selection there, a bitmap image, which is a picture as a bitmap. And then a media clip is a uh, uh, something that uh, might be a movie. So we'll play on the move on the uh, on the uh, uh, document when it's open. Along with the graphic chart, we do uh, have the ability to bring in uh, other documents of Microsoft Office ex uh, with Excel or whatever you may desire. So there is a little bit of flexibility in here that. Uh, if we use the scroll down bar, we'll be able to uh, select from other options as well. Now, realize that uh, what we have looked at, the chart is very basic. There's not a whole lot of selections to be able to change it to look like different items. If we get into Open Office, we can get something much more flexible and be able to make pie charts or anything you want. There is a lot of uh, things that might be meaningful. For example, creating a chart that reflects stocks and how they are laid out in the newspaper with a high and low and, and a close. So then there is a lot of flexibility there with Open Office. Um, the same capabilities is with uh, Microsoft Office as well. So uh, there is a lot of things that can be done with this. Please be aware that this program <coughs> is very useful for a programmer. It is uh, used to set up uh, what is called batch files. And a batch file will issue a number of commands to your computer to be able to complete a function that you want it to do on a regular basis. And also, this is uh, used for uh, creating uh, uh, programs that are good for uh, web development and being able to make files operate or work together with uh, 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 HTML files and other files that are used for the displays made. Now take in mind as a programmer myself I have used these programs for many other things as well just to jot down ideas or even create an outline of how I want things laid out. We will get into other tools that are just as useful in helping me put together uh, a diagram of uh, producing uh, programs and uh, uh, having displays that I want to be made. And uh, with that, we will uh, have a different study with OpenOffice on that information. So I thank you for uh, uh, coming along with me on this study for uh, 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 WordPad and uh, as you can see it is a very small program it comes installed with your computer you don't have to go out and download it or anything it is available with each installation of Windows XP Windows 7 and uh, every uh, every version of uh, Windows that is uh, in existence so uh, this is something that you'll be able to carry with you and be able to make use of no matter what computer you're on. This completes this section on uh, WordPad and uh, use of using a, uh, a graphic to produce a, uh, uh, a table and uh, making use to have a chart. And uh, as you know, uh, we do have some other basic things to cover with this. And it'll be a, uh, a key to how all programs of this type, any word processor, will make use of keyboard shortcuts and ways of uh, being able to develop uh, your document to make it look like you want it to look. So when you get done uh, going over this, be sure to go over to the next section, which will be unit f uh, part four.